run through my vampire build. Um, top that are locals with this deck. I mean, I beat really good decks. I know it's only a locals, but you know, I beat a Mermel deck, Firefish deck, uh, a Dark Road deck. Um, but oh, um, oh, Infernity deck and a Noble Knights deck with it. Um, so it's not that bad. Uh, it did me pretty good and I won too and those are really hard decks to be nowadays so I'm going to get started with this and I'll go ahead and explain the other effects later on so I run two shadow vampires he's your main guy I mean he special summons from your deck three dukes because when dukes normal summon he special summons from the graveyard a vampire one dark vampire from the graveyard grace only one with her um one zombie master because he's searchable so I mean you could get him out either way he's really easy to get out I mean I don't even want one of them because for some reason every time I draw him I don't have a mizuki or nothing in the graveyard that I can special summon so I run three mizukis everyone knows what mizuki does he special summons from the graveyard by banishing himself I run three sorcerers what sorceress does is when she's destroyed by if she's in your possession and she's destroyed oh actually if she's sent to the graveyard by card effect or battle, your opponent's card effect or by battle, you can add a vampire spell, trap, or monster card from your deck to your hand. Also, if she's in the graveyard, you can banish her to normal summon without tributing one dark vampire monster. So she's really good. Three goblin zombies because of your searchers of the deck. I mean, they search anything in your deck. Don't think they won't search a sorceress, but I mean, that's fine. He's just so damn good, especially if you use him with Trump's Modify, which I actually do. Two Plague Spreaders. Um, I know he's up to three, but I mean, two's fine because, again, like I said, you can search him with Goblin. For my spells, I run three Kingdoms. Kingdoms is your main card of the deck. I mean, you really want to have your field spell up there. Uh, it adds 500 attack to your zombie or any but all zombie monsters, actually, on the field. And once per turn, when a card is sent from your opponent's deck to the graveyard, you target one card on the field, send one dark vampire monster from your hand or deck to the graveyard, and if you do, destroy that target. So he's pretty much your MST, and you know, just, he's just your destruction on the deck. Kingdom's really good. And again, I run three MSTs, because I'm the guy that always runs three MSTs. I just, I love it. Uh, there's so much back row, so that's why. But you can do without three, because of Kingdom. Um, two would be also good also, but I wouldn't advise it. I just like three MSTs. Two book of life because three's too cloggy. You know, so you have to banish from the graveyard. And if it's early game and you don't, they don't have no monsters in the graveyard. It's just a dead card until you know you get rid of one of theirs, or they get rid of it, or they get rid of it somehow. So for draw, you know, I run a lure and two pots. I was running three finish instead of the pots, um, but uh, apologize for the glare. It's just I think it works better with pots because most of the time you want to wait for them to attack you so you can get your effects off and of search and set up for the play. So. I mean, push your game, obviously, but, you know, it, it works good with pots. One Dark Hole, of course. Two Transmodifies. Um, it works really good in this thing. You usually use it for Goblin Zombie, because what he does is, obviously, you get out Duke, because Shadow has to be normal summon, so you usually get out Duke, and when Duke special summoning, you mill from their deck, so that always helps. I usually call it traps if it's guys running a lot of traps or monsters if I want to steal it uh, but the only thing is about it is that since Goblin and Duke activate on two separate chains um, if you have Vampire Kingdom on the field and you activate Duke's effect um, Kingdom's effect doesn't go off for you to destroy a card because Goblin Zombie's effect is still trying to resolve in the graveyard so it's pretty much just too slow so you can actually bring Transmodify down to one uh, I have to do it sometimes when I side out you know uh, sometimes I play without or I just play with, with one it just saves me sometimes and sometimes just a cloggy card you know two vampire takes over take over is what it does whenever you have no field card zone no cards in your field card zone and all face a monster you control minimal one or zombie type activate one vampire kingdom directly from your deck then you can special one dark vampire monster from your graveyard and face up defense position you can only activate one vampire take over per turn pretty much you bring out your vampire again uh most of the time I use it on Sorcerer, Duke, uh, Sorcerer, so if it's destroyed again, you can get its effect. And search again, or Duke, when it's supposed to summon, Kingdom go off. If you activate its effect, mill, and then you get to destroy a card in the field. So, that's pretty good, and plus, Kingdom comes out also. And 
that's 500 attack for you if they're attacking a monster so run fiendish I mean I swap it out sometimes for this I was running three but I added the two pots but one fiendish works fine for the staple traps bottomless mirror force compulsory and torrential you search so much some I usually draw traps most of the time so to help you stall out I mean you search so damn much in this deck so for the side deck sorry extra deck I run revive King Hades he takes plague spreader and one non tuner zombie monster which is usually Mizuki or goblin zombie so um and I run two of him because any when he any um negate the effects of effects monster or the battle by zombie type monsters you control so that also includes in the graveyard so if you're playing monarchs you destroy their tree born its effects are negated marmels you destroy their I don't matter what all the damn cards that activate in the graveyard you destroy them with this guy their effects are negated any monster even if it's a flip summoning because it's technically already destroyed and we already looked the rulings up on all this stuff so it's legit and it tell me out so damn much <laughs> stardust of course crimson blader for those decks that especially some level 5 or higher Black Rose Dragon because it's so damn broken in this deck. It's easy to get out. It blows up the whole field and like I say, if you have Mizukis in the graveyard or something like that, and you can or your Book of Life's in the hand already, you know, it just it helps you out so much. I went into it so many times. It's too easy. Your Scrap Dragon. <coughs> two tuners. Then I run uh, two Crimson Knight Vampire Brams. I've never gone into three. I used to run three in here, but I never ever went into them. So that's why I'm only one two. He's easy to get. It's just two level five zombie type monsters. What he does is, um, once per turn, you can attach a unit from him, and you can special summon a card and a monster card from your opponent's graveyard to your side of the field. It's the only monster that can attack. So most of the time, you want to do it in your main phase too. And uh, he's just so damn good because when you destroy by battle your opponent's card effect, he just keeps coming back. Um, he's a tree born frog after that, but he's better in a way because he comes back every standby phase, even that includes your opponents. So. And most of the time what I do with him is he's coming back and I got their field clear or something like that, you know, I overlay with this guy. So, I mean, you can overlay with um, XYZ summon this car, XYZ summon this car by using a rank 5 or 6 monster. You can choose XYZ, which is him, so he's an easy target, especially if you don't have no more units and, you know, he just keeps coming back. You, that's an easy 2600 beater. It's your Gaga Cowboy. He's good, he helps you out a lot. I mean, for your burn and also for the extra thousand attack and minus 500 for them for some cards you just can't get over. Exton Knight, I mean, I run him in here just because I already have enough destruction, but I mean, come on, it's Exton Knight. So, I mean, uh, when I get a Lavalva Chain, I'm going to switch him out for it or maybe leave him in and switch out Utopia. Then Shark Fortress because he's dark and 2 level 5, so you can attack twice per turn with him or any other cards you want to target. Number 50 Black Ship of Corn. My stroke just a region and 25 Utopia. Since I go into uh, XYZs a lot, uh, especially with Zombie Master, since he's searchable and you can also bring him back, you know, like you have six ways to bring him back. So, oh, sorry, five ways to bring him back. So, but um, um, yeah, he's just he's there for now until I get a Lavalva chain. So, that's my build. And like I said, I beat a lot of really good decks with this build. So, hope y'all like the video. Sorry if y'all seen any glares. I'm hoping to make more videos and make them a better uh, quality and you know stuff like that. So, thank you for watching, guys.